Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. You can write question test. No, write the text question test. Close the commas. Yeah. Space. M percent. B divide. Remove the space. After M percent, remove the space. Commas remainder is we remainder Uh, close the bracket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think now we can execute it. The so one. Yeah. Uh, uh, do that. Uh, uh, step into. Go to debug. Step into. Yeah, now this is executing. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. It's okay. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, yeah, please. Same uh, issue I am facing with the debug viewer that I am not able to see the step by step in uh, debug viewer. Okay. What you do is put a breakpoint. Okay. Maybe on the first or second line, put a breakpoint. Okay. And then um, go to the view and then say view the debug viewer. Okay. Fine. Okay. There is a patch that I am sending um, to you. Check if this works. I 
and let me know okay if it is going to work Okay. Okay, sure Swarna. Share your screen quickly. Let's see what is the error. Yes, tell me Swarna. Okay, uh, remainder is and, okay. See there, Swarna, the remainder, okay, the spelling, give it completely, and remainder, D-E-R. Okay, ampersand, remainder, E-R, you have missed. Okay, and that is it. You correct that one, you will get the answer. Okay, Prerna sign in. Okay, sign in and then log in. You will be able to see the patch over there. Okay. Okay then. So, shall we proceed further with the functions? Okay, so in the functions you got to learn two things, okay. Uh, okay, wait Neha, I will come to that, okay. See here, we will discuss the functions and then I will see your debug viewers. See here, we have a create function and then the call function. If you learn these two things, then you will be able to work with any type of functions, okay. So let's see how do you do it. So to create a function, it is very simple. Write function. And then give the name to the function. Let's say for addition, we are giving it as f add. And then we got to pass the variables over here. That is, I got to pass two variables. The first variable that is v first number. And then we have the second variable that is v second number. Okay. Do you see here? v first number and then v second number. So this entire thing, I will cut and paste it inside which is going to do the addition for us and I will also do the display over here how do I display simple okay message box the sum is and then ampersand v sum close it right so this is how I create a function. See, you got to write here function and then give the name of the function. In the bracket, pass the two parameters like, you know, we want the first number and then the second number. We pass these two parameters. And then whatever you are doing outside the function, do it within the function. That is adding of the two numbers and then displaying the message. Okay. Fine. I'll delete all this one and then I'll show you only for the addition so that you are clear on it. And then this one I will comment it or I'll delete it. So for addition I created a function now. Alright. Let's see how to call the function. Calling function, it is simple. Okay, I'll tell you Lavanya. See, calling function is very simple. You can call it directly like this, f add and then space, mention what are first and second numbers. Okay, again f add, mention the first and second numbers. f add, 
mention the next numbers. Do you see here? So what we are doing is when we want to add like this multiple. Okay, line number 10. What happened Prerna? Okay. See here everybody. First of all, I am trying to create a function. That's okay, Prerna. See here. First of all, you know, you should create a function. I am creating a function by name add. And then I have the v first number, v second number over here. I am passing the values. And then I am adding. Okay. See, basically, you know, do you see here? I want to add many number of values. Like I want to add 10 and 20, 23 and 56, 78 and 52, 12 and 20, uh, 23. Like this. I want to add many of the data values. Okay. So when you want to add so many data values. Okay. And every time, you know, if I go on writing the same steps, adding and then, you know, displaying, it is going to take many lines of code. So it will take, you know, like more than, yeah, eight lines of code. Every time we are going to repeat the same steps. V sum in first name, uh, first number that is 10 and 20. Again, 23 and 56, right? So, for every data combination, I have to repeat the same steps. Instead of repeating the same statements every time, what I do is, I put it inside the function, okay? And every time, I am only calling the function. I am not repeating the statements, but I simply call the statements wherein I am passing first time 10 and 20 is passed, second time 23 and 56 is passed, third time 78 and 52 is passed, fourth time 12 and 23 is passed, okay? So, do you see here? Every time we pass the different values and the same function is going to or same statements are going to get executed for me to add the values. Is it clear everyone? Yes, why do we use the functions? So to avoid the repetition, okay, we are trying to modularize our program. If we want to use the repeated set of statements again and again, instead of repeating them, put them into the function, call the function, that is sufficient. And if there is any mistake over here, okay, we need not, you know, check the entire program. Let's say while we are adding the two numbers, we get some error. Okay, so I need not debug the program right from the first line. I will be checking only in this add functionality. Correct? If there is any error that is related to the add, obviously I got to check only within the add. I need not, you know, check the entire program here. Correct? So this is how, I mean this is the most important use of the function. We can localize the errors by writing a function. Okay. Alright. So this is one way of calling the function. Let's run it. Let's see what happens, you know, if I give. F add. Sorry. F add and I start using the brackets. Okay. Then run this one. So do you see it is giving me the error on the line number 19. Can you tell me what is the error? Can you read the error on my screen? It is telling me that on line number 19 there is some error. Cannot use the parenthesis when calling the sub. Means there is something called as sub. Okay, there is a function, there is a sub. Okay, what is the difference between these? Let's try to identify the difference between these. The sub and the function. Okay. Let me tell you what is sub and what is function. Okay, look here on my screen. So we have the function. 
What's happened to this one now? So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you are interested in a demo program, please register on our home page on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-1269. 17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.